Hi, I'm Fox San Antonio's Jessica Headley. And I'm the dead spin video has been viewed by millions of people. It shows dozens of local news anchors reading the same script deriding fake stories and the bias of some members of the media in reporting them. Journalism that CBS 4 News produces. But we are concerned about trouble trying to get responsible one-sided news stories playing in our country. And this is extremely dangerous to our democracy. Trump took to Twitter to defend Sinclair Broadcasting after CNN and MSNBC reported the story Monday. Sinclair's senior vice president of news also responded, saying it is ironic that we would be attacked for messages promoting our journalistic initiative for fair and objective reporting and for specifically asking the public to hold our newsrooms accountable. Well, the comments, what they read really doesn't mean much. They basically said, you know, we don't like fake news. You don't like fake news. Gee, let's all just don't do fake news. That's basically what the comment said. And that's no real big deal. The, the problem is, is, is when you have anchors, news anchors reading stuff like this that comes from corporate, that's basically a commentary. It's not journalism. You start graying the lines about what is this person doing? Are they giving me the news or are they giving their opinion? Are they giving me comment, editorial, what is it? To complicate matters, Sinclair Broadcasting's reach may be about to expand. It has a $3.9 billion acquisition deal pending before the Federal Communications Commission and the Justice Department. Uh, there is a uh, loophole or, or provision in the rules that would accommodate Sinclair uh, in acquiring more stations, and it's using that provision uh, to acquire uh, one of the other larger broadcasting companies in the United States, Tribune Broadcasting. As a consequence of that, Schwartzman adds, Sinclair would go from serving approximately 40 percent of the nation's television viewers to having television stations that reach about 70 percent of the country. Sinclair currently owns and operates nearly 200 stations in the U.S., a number that could rise to 233 if the acquisition is approved. Jill Craig, VOA News, Washington.